Oh, over there, dude. Oh my God, there's so many busting. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, 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 I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, I'm on too. Oh my gosh. I'm on. Oh, yeah. I'm on. <laughs> Double down, <up>, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God, dude. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, Salt Strong Nation? This is Evan bringing you just a quick tip about catching springtime bonito, as bonito are a super, super fun fish to catch in the springtime, uh, especially for anybody that just likes to sight fish. Now, in a recent insider report, my buddy Daniel and I went out on his boat in search of these fish busting on the surface. Now, the key takeaway from this day was actually to first just locate a general idea of where these fish were starting to bust, and then actually sit there and just wait for a while, and wait for them to pop up in another spot a few hundred yards away, quickly rush over to them, make a few casts, and hope to hook into one. So it was actually less productive to keep roaming around and just hope that we would come across another school of Benito. It was actually better to just sit and wait in one certain area and wait for them to pop back up again. So now I'm gonna share with you guys some recent footage from that insider report that I got done. And some of the time, the fish were busting right by the boat just a few yards away. So, hope you enjoy the footage. Oh, over there, dude. Oh my God, there's so many busting. Oh my God, over there. Oh, there they are again. All right. Oh, that's right by him. That one's gotta get one. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice, finally got one. Oh, get in here. Nice, there dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, he's going under the boat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's not foul hooked. <laughs> nice, man. Oh, look at that. Jig just came right out. Oh, over there. Yep. To our left. Yep. They are not wanting to eat today. Or not. To stay up at least. Oh, 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 I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm, on, I'm above you. <laughs> Oh, I'm on too. Oh my gosh, dude, they're, oh, they're here, let, let, me, let me get above you, right. dude. Oh, wait, okay. No, you're under, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, I'm on this light. <laughs> wow, man, right at the boat. They're, dude, they're right here in front of us. I'm gonna try and stay back here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Got him. He's on there. Oh my God, <laughs> good Lord. So I do want to talk with you guys just for a quick second about the Salt Strong Insider Program and what it has to offer you if you have not already checked it out and signed up already. So the platform offers a community page where all of us coaches and other insiders post all of our caches how, when, and where we got it done. Salt Strong also offers 20% off of almost all tackle and deals in the shop to all of our insiders, just like the TFO Pro Rod and the Daiwa Fuego LT that I used on this trip, which is the only setup that I used in this video. So those are just a couple of the options that the platform offers, uh, also including insider reports, spot dissections, weekend game plans, and just a great way to connect with community and other anglers in your region if that interests you at all. So if you want more tips on how to catch more fish in less time, make sure that you go to saltstrong.com and check it out. Let's get back into the footage. Hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, he came off. I got him, I got him. He's on again. Mine's on. Mine's on. <laughs> Insane, man. Insane. Oh my gosh, look at all that fish. That's crazy. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, opinion. Yeah. I, so do you just go to like right the here. sandbar right or here. whatever? Oh yeah. There uh, go. Oh got him. Nice. <laughs> I watched it. Heck yeah, it. dude. <laughs> I'm on. Oh, yeah. I'm on. <laughs> Double down, baby. Oh, he came off. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, did my come off? Oh my god, off too! Oh no! We've lost our fair share of fish today, that's for sure. <laughs> but we've definitely landed some. Oh yeah. Oh, you see all that bait? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. that was cool. Oh yeah, we sh oh, this yeah. should get one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on! Oh yeah. Got one! Got one! <sighs> wow, man. Oh, did he get off? No, he's still on, he's still on. Okay. <laughs> this is stupid fun. Here, let me get, let me get yeah, around you. 
<sighs> Insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude. Oh, holy cow. I just, he was going Dude, bad. that run was insane. I saw him come right, right next to the boat. Dude, that was crazy. He almost hit the, <laughs> he almost hit the motor for a second, dude. That was the fastest run I've ever seen a fish take, ever. I can't believe he didn't get off. I know. Okay. I thought he was. Oh my god. If you need to come up here, you can. He's going in circles. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know this actually, but, um... Apparently Sprite and ginger ale are good for, oh, oh, right here, yep. are good for seasickness. <laughs> really? Dang, man. Can't believe I didn't hook into one. That was weird. I want to actually get this one in the boat this time. Yeah, redeem, redeem both of us from our lost fish. Oh no, you got him. Yeah. Heck yeah. You got him good. Yeah, I got him. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> I'm glad you got him <laughs> when, when you Ooh, did. Teamwork, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh, to our left. Yep. Oh, oh, my, my, oh my gosh, yeah. that's a lot. There we go. <laughs> nice job, dude. I'm on. Oh, oh yeah. he hit it. Oh, man. Heck yeah. Daniel got another one. Yes. Yeah, baby. There he goes. <laughs> So guys, that's what I got for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun on this trip. Daniel, thanks so much for taking me again on your boat, man. I had a blast. These fish are a ton of fun to catch in the springtime and a really, really cool alternative to catching inshore fish. So if you wanna take just you know a near shore experience and go sight fish some bonito, I highly recommend it. So again, the key takeaway from this day was to just go and locate a general area where these fish were kind of staging up, uh, popping up in one spot and then popping up in another spot a few hundred yards away. So also to just sit and wait is actually not too bad of a strategy for a day like this. Uh, it happened to us several times. The Benito would just pop up like 20 yards away from us and we would just really quickly cast at them and hook up several times. If you want to see the full insider report, make sure that you go to saltstrong.com and become an insider if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.